Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Animal Well, where I went back and looked at some of the previous uh, episode footage, tried to figure out when we were in that room and how we got there, and uh, that's the that's the room with the metal in it. We absolutely were there, and I'm pretty sure that we didn't miss anything. It does not seem to be the way into the room to its right, so I'm not really sure what to do about that. Um, however, while I was looking around this area trying to figure out uh, any kind of way that we could get into a new space, I did discover this. So this, um, the top right of the area where we fought the manticore, uh, the top was able to break through the floor and reveal this total complete nightmare. Uh, I don't really know what to do with it. Obviously, it's like a wheel movable block. But if I move it out of the way and come through here, all that was in here was a fruit, and you know we're just we're just in this room. We're in the the creepy snake back room. Um, I have tried the wheel, and in fact, every one of our items in here, none of them do anything. So I don't really know what to make of that. In any case, we'll figure this out later. While I was looking at the map, though, uh, for both this and just kind of like scrolling around looking for other things to do, I did realize at this point we've got our map quite tightly filled in, except there's this space we can't get into, and then there's this. I don't know how this is accessed, but these are some areas we've not been to in a while, so I think let's... um. Let's head up here and see what we can see. So I think the fastest way to get to this region, we could take the teleporter up there, or we could just come from the egg room. We're gonna wanna like check all the sides of it. The little green room over here is the room we found the big weird mural in. And I feel like we were pretty thorough in that room, so I'm inclined to check, like, this stuff first. Like, I don't remember what's in that room that has, like, the creepy smiling cat face at all. So, yeah, let's, um... Let's teleport out of here so we don't have to be next to this thing anymore. What a nightmare, this game. And we'll just come at it from the egg side. Nope, didn't mean to jump all the way up there again. Okay. Still haven't seen very many other um, of those pillars with skulls on them. I think that's curious. Okay, so where do we want to... We actually kind of want to go left here. Is that the diamond there? Hold on, how do I turn this thing on? Uh, what about the normal lantern? It is dark. It's actually kind of too dark to see. I think that's the diamond shape on that one. It's weirdly hard to tell. Uh, I wouldn't expect it to be, because it, it kind of looks like they're grouped, right? So I wouldn't expect this to be the diamond shape. It's kind of, I think it is. Okay, well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe they're not really grouped. Okay, so that's like here. All right, anyway, uh, let's have our UV light on. Try to see any secrets that we have missed. Actually, we haven't been through this area in quite some time. Boy, the eyes on that statue are even creepier than normal. Oh, there's another skull. Speak of... Well, speak of a skull. Eh, close enough. Is that... Yeah, there's not really room for there to be a room up there. Actually, wow, that's another... That's within the same room. Huh. Okay. Um, 
Well, we definitely didn't have the top last time we were here. And yeah, that floor does look exactly like that, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, cool. Rad. Destroy the rest of the blocks. Okay, there we go. I am confident that we have done that. Am I getting off track here? I am getting off track. I wanted to go this way. Up here. Okay, yeah, it has it has been a little it has been a minute. are normal bricks, not bouncy ball blocks, but yeah, okay. The ball is definitely not doing its transforming act. That's really weird. Also pretty weird. Like, that's the manticore's face. Why would there be a random UV painting of the manticore's face here? Oh, heart. Uh, that is a symbol that I don't think we've seen any of. I guess it makes sense that there would be a set of pillars for each of the symbols we can stamp onto the map, right? Reason not to fill up on these. Okay, I've been through here already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, we're getting into the right location. Aha! That's exactly what I wanted was to, uh, to see if there was another pillar in here. And actually, there's room for there to be something... In this area as well. Although the map reports pretty solid walls. Yeah, I don't like see any obvious gaps. Right, there's a dog above us. We know this part. Okay, so this is where we are adjacent to this wall. I mean, I guess I'm not really expecting this to work because we can see there's water right below us. Yeah, the top left is where that room is. I guess let's head up there. Ah, clumsy. It's a good thing that dog is slow on the uptake. Like, quite slow on the uptake. <laughs> Jumps are just a little bit harder than I would like. Oh, 
At least they give you the uh, they give you the do over on this one. All right, I guess we don't need to um, we don't need to swap the remote again until we get over here. This looks a lot less friendly from <laughs> this angle. Like a thing with a switch in the water, maybe? I mean, like, this would be a pretty good place for it. Nothing happens. Okay. And nothing on all this brickwork. Uh, okay, so we can try just hugging the wall as we head out here. I don't know. I don't think I see anything. We can try from below. It's not impossible for it to just legitimately be an empty space on the map, although obviously it doesn't seem like the kind of thing this game does. Um, but the other possibility is that it is a space that you teleport into somehow, right? Oh, we've certainly seen plenty of that in this game. Um, with the pipes and whatnot. So... Am I doing this the right... Is this the smartest way back? No, the smartest way back would have been to just cross the top there. We should check those rooms. I don't think there could be anything in them, but we should check them anyway. Alright, maybe the smartest way back is through the uh, through the big room over here because it seems like I am not going to be allowed to go back the other way. Weird that he just left on his own accord, but I'll take it. A lot of weird statues. And kind of not a lot else going on. Oh, you know what? It's this. This is the symbol that was on that other thing, I think. All right, this is the dog that follows you through the underground passage, right? Yeah, but... We can still be faster than this dog. Okay, well. Just out of curiosity, are there any more of those pillars around here? Doesn't really seem like it. Okay, so what about the area below the space? Alright, looks like a teleport to me. 
And actually, this is an area that has a bunch of those pipes. Ah. So who knows? Maybe there will be essentially teleporting in after all. I get from here to there oh you know I think this is a pipe thing all right so we want to we want to just get up here for right now that's hmm <clears throat> Yeah, I think this is this is a pipe thing. Uh, I'm not seeing any more of those pillars around here. Have we been up there? Yeah, it looks like we have. Okay. All right, let's see about this. Curse you, fish! Okay, yeah, it has been a minute since we were in here. That is for sure. So, this one, we can see that the pipe goes down. This one, the pipe goes just right over there. Where does this one go? Okay. This doesn't necessarily seem super useful. I definitely started rotating the inventory the wrong way there. None of this stuff leaves a terribly obvious way for us to to go. And both of these pipes just go into the next room, it looks like. The other one would dump us out up there. This pipe dumps us out on that side. that. So you take me back over to the left. Yeah, okay. I think we want this. I kind of, I, I want that one, the one that's immediately to our right. It does go up into the roof. Just need to actually manage to get up there without getting sh totally waylaid by this other balloon. Balloon? Fish. By this other fish. Where'd the word balloon come from? Okay, no. That only goes over there. Well, this one definitely goes upward. So this probably wasn't a space we'd never been in before. It's just a space that had been too dark for us to see in it last time we were here. Although, that does look like a chest. That's a very small ledge that it is on. Okay, cool. 
And then we can see that there is a room over here. Is there an obvious way from here to there? doesn't seem like it. I mean, that room can't be very big, because like I said, that other room over there is our mural. We had 63 eggs. So the last one is the skulls. But it's very strange that there's this, like, room over here with this snail in it. So my assumption is that whatever's going on with the pillars with the symbols on them, that's rabbit stuff for sure. Ah, you coward. I don't know how that makes him a coward. How that makes this inanimate pipe fish a coward. But okay, yeah, 63. 63 is pretty good. Now we just have to confront my deep ignorance of the skulls. So the skulls are not all facing the same direction, right? That could be a thing. It's hard to imagine it, like... The question is, what would that be signifying? There are some that are facing forward. Oh, hold on. I don't believe... No, I don't have this pillar here recorded. Gosh, there are a lot of these things. Part of me wants to run around on foot in this area a little bit more just to see if I can discover some more. <sighs> That's so weird, right? That room doesn't look like... We so rarely see a room that's a portion of a screen width, right? That's why so many of these rooms look the way they do is because they're... They're approximately a screen. They, like, take up the whole screen space. That room would be very strange if we were in it. Well, whatever that strangeness is, it's probably not part of our egg anyway. So these question mark areas where I feel like I had... Where we saw egg symbols. I think I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. Because I think we know we know where the last egg is. And it's just a matter of figuring, it, figuring, out, uh, bleh, figuring out how to do it. So. Alright, you can't erase them with that eraser. You have to use the stamp eraser. Alright, get rid of that. Uh... Get rid of that. And maybe I just, maybe we just teleport down there. The fastest way is still gonna be using the hippo, unfortunately. Hmm. All right, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to be honest with you. I am definitely thinking, like, maybe it's time to look a thing up. But we're so close now. Did I do that wrong? Yeah, that's just not the order of the notes.
Okay. It's a little hard to imagine that it would be a song, given how long it would have to be, like the number of notes to be delivered, but then... The, uh, the song that unlocked the wheel in the Lynx's room was a lot of notes long. They're not necessarily afraid to do that. Okay, so... Every skull in here is facing left or forward or right. They all have the same eyes. It is certainly not the case that any of them are making the facial expressions <laughs> we see here on the wall. Um, I wouldn't even be comfortable trying to convert these things to... I mean, they don't convert to faces, right? Because they're all making the same expression. I don't think we can convert them to numbers because one of the things they're doing is just facing directly outward, which was not a number in the numbering scheme outside the Raven Room. And we have tried every single thing in this, in this space. All right, I'm going to be honest with you. My urge to just look this up and claim the final uh, egg is pretty overpowering. But also, I'm kind of tired and <laughs> maybe just sort of like frustrated with the search. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause the episode and like go to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, we'll, uh, we'll try this again with a renewed vigor because we are so close to being good. Uh, so I'll see y'all in a sec, which will be slightly longer for me. Okay, so I slept on it, and then I decided to go back and look at footage of the previous times we've been in this room, because I had noticed that the number of skulls was changing, right? Uh, well, it seems to me that the number of skulls is larger every time we come in here. The pile was pretty big the first time we got in, but it's much bigger now. So, like, even if I am... Even if it is the case that this, uh, the, like the different facings of the skulls, which by the way are not changing, each each skull is in the same position it's always been in. Um, if it is the case that the facings of the skulls represent like directions that we're supposed to interpret for the purpose of notes in a song, and we know that the game will will deal with some pretty long songs sometimes because the um, the song the Lynx sang to get us the wheel was quite long. Then we're waiting for whatever is adding skulls to add all the skulls it's going to add before we could possibly know what that is. And a thing that just occurred to me, I did not count the skulls, but I wonder if we're gaining a skull for each egg. Cause like if the, if the number's only going up over time, there's only a couple of things that it could be. It could be time, just the passage of time. It could be, some action that we are taking in the world. Just a counter. Or, and, and that's it, <laughs> really, right? Like, So it's like every time we enter certain rooms or every time we die or it, like it can't be every time we kill things because there's not really that much, um, you know, we don't defeat enemies very frequently in this game. But something like that. Every time we throw a firecracker, etc. So... If it's if it's if the room is filling to a certain point and then it's a song like that doesn't feel to me like an egg amount of effort. That feels more to me like a rabbit amount of effort. Um, but there is this chest, right? I don't think that this is the last egg. Maybe there is a set of items that is even weirder to get than the rabbits. 
and those items are in chests, and this is just the first one of those that we've seen. I still don't really know what we're doing with the rabbits, even. and we, There doesn't seem to be any place in the world that, like, our collected rabbits have gathered, so I don't... I don't know. Whatever this is, the thing is, like, it's, it's, a, it's one of the little chests, right? It's not one of the chests that contains an item. It is an egg-style chest. But I really don't, I really don't think this is the egg. Or at least I guess I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping this is not our last egg. So, that being the case, we have this great big, massive map. We have a room that looks like it can't exist. We have a room that I definitely can't figure out how to get to. We can only even see it from one side, and it's through a bunch of, of glass. And then we don't really have any other spaces that are big enough for like an entire room to be missing. Whatever's going on with these pillars, it feels it feels a little a little too esoteric to be an egg as well, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Like, so often, an egg, the, the cost to acquire an egg is notice a weird opening in the wall or remember to, to drop the top on a floor. And, like, even that top left room, right? That top left room was a rabbit room, even though that was, that was not really all that complicated of a thing to do. I guess it was, it was difficult and it sort of misrepresented itself. Yeah, so the, the problem we would run into now is basically, like, I have to scour the whole map looking for a place that there could be an egg that we missed. So, like, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to pay attention to all of the walls. I'm just looking for, like, little gaps that we didn't explore. I'm also trying to think, like, where have we not been in a long time? Because there are probably some rooms. Every time we go back to a room that we haven't traveled to in a very long time. Um, well, not every time, but many, many of the times recently when we have gone back through a space that we haven't been through in a while, we get something extra out of it. So I'm trying to think, are there any such spaces left? Have we been everywhere? We were definitely down here at the flower, question mark, <laughs> that we bloomed out of. Yeah, I don't know. We were up here recently enough for me to have made markings of the pillars that, that we found up here. I don't want to look things up is, is like sort of where I'm at. Like I'm, I'm definitely worried that I'm not going to be able to find this last egg. It's one thing when it's like, Hey, there's 60 eggs scattered throughout the world. You can stumble into that when there's one egg <laughs> in, in a map of this size. Um, I start to worry about the ne needle in a haystack effect. It's possible that there are... All right, let's let's go to this room here. Let's go to this this um, green room, the room that has the mural on the wall, and just make absolutely sure there's no way to reach what looks like a space beyond it. Because I do think that we have not been there with the ball. So the best way to accomplish that is probably the rightmost teleporter. Let's go have a look. And then we want to go down. Yep, okay, this is the... Wait, is this the right room? Yeah, this is the place with the, with the weird cat mural. Uh, if I use the normal lantern, can I get a better look at these walls? Actually, no. 
it is just weirdly hard to see the walls in this room, actually. Uh, well. That didn't touch the wall I was hoping it would touch at all. Yep, that's not, that's not working. Oh, we've tried the top in here already, I assume, but. Also, I feel like if the top were the thing, it would have been marked on the wall. I do appreciate that the yo-yo is glow in the dark. Oh, come on. What an annoyance. I have the ability to look at my map in the dark. You don't have to be like that. Yeah, I guess the next thing to do is to try looking at, like, approaching this from the room below us and the room above us. Just to be sure. Um, and the good news is we're probably not very, yeah, it should be, like, pretty easy to get to the room above us from here. Well... That passage, does that passage actually connect? Oh, we can go through the, the room where the monkey throws the stuff at you. If we're going to do that, actually, it makes more sense to teleport back, I think. Because that room is right here. Okay, we've been on the other side of those those blocks. We know that's... Well, I was going to say we know that's not anything. We It was. It was something. It was something and it was an important something. But it is now ours. Okay, this is the correct room. This is the correct room. So the, the plan here was like, throw disc, okay, that's not quite the right timing. So I want to wait considerably longer, right? Damn it. That would absolutely have worked if I had uh, if I had actually hit the the disc. That's a shame. I managed to cycle it. Okay, well it's a pain in the ass to get over there. There we go. Okay, I wasn't really expecting this to do anything. Using the top in here doesn't do anything. I'm fairly confident this is not. This is not the way. Yep, there's nothing else up there except a fruit, which I suppose I could have eaten. All right, so to check the final thing, the room directly below this, we want to take that left, center left, teleport head. Now, I remember this room. And I remember specifically trying to put together jumps to get up into the corners. So that might mean that there is a good reason to check this, or it might mean that I've been up there already. <laughs> Should 
sure looks like you know that top right area does look like it has a gap and it doesn't look like I've been through there on the map but I remember this being very annoying to do oh hey starfish Okay, well, it doesn't have a very large area back here. Shockingly, the top does nothing. Yeah. Egg. Is there an egg in the top left alcove? Ah, darn it. That was pretty well positioned if I could have just gotten onto it. Yeah, this was, this was an egg. Sorry, I didn't actually like use any of our tools in there, but I don't I don't think this is it. I think we have acquired from this place what there was to acquire here. Okay. Would there really be a room that exists just for you to look at half of it through a glass wall? It seems like such a strange thing. We explored all of the pipe heads in the fish room to the right. Definitely been through these rooms over here fairly recently because we were doing cat. This is where we were doing the cat stuff, right? The thing is, the thing that makes me kind of uncomfortable about this area is there's lots of spaces in between the rooms for there to be like a little hidden something. But it really doesn't look like there are gaps anywhere. It looks to me like we've explored everything there is to explore around here. All right, I tell you what, I might pause the game or pause the recording again and actually just kind of do a left to right like a like a full top left to bottom right sweep. And then if I don't find it, I think I'm looking it up. Um, yeah. I really want this. I feel like I feel like we've put in the work. If the 64th egg is something that's like insanely hidden, then I'm, I'm willing to accept defeat on that, I, th I think. Well, you know, one thing it could be actually before we do that, let me let me do one more thing. That's not right. Started with the wrong side. Is it lit differently in here than it used to be? I don't know. Uh, so, what I'm thinking of is... Wait a minute, is there... Oh, I guess there's the same kind of speckling on all the background eggs. I was like, hey, look at that. Three pips. That's weird. But all of them have the three pips. I wonder if... Maybe we're supposed to play the song? And that's how you get the last egg? You notice that... That this could potentially be converted into a song? Alright, so... The, the 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 lines on the numbers are just arranged from top to bottom, right? The top one is a one and the bottom one's the four. Yeah, okay. So just the top line is one, just the bottom right line, or just the middle line is two, just the bottom line is four, top and bottoms 
five, which is left. I think it's worth a shot. Although, honestly, again, I don't know if this is like an egg level of um, of effort. It feels like maybe more. I'm going to take a screenshot of these. Uh, and yeah, let's just do a little conversion here. I'm going to pause the recording for this, I guess. <laughs> and then I'll come, I'll come back and uh, play the song. And yeah, we'll see. Okay, well, some of you probably saw this already. Uh, <laughs> didn't take me very long into transcribing to realize a big problem with this plan, which is that some of the eggs don't have any lines painted on them, and I don't know what to do with a zero. I just went back and checked. There's definitely no direction that has zero written on it on that sign. Um, zero could just be, this is not a note, I guess, but that seems very weird. Um, and if it's meant to, you know, suggest a rest, then that would mean that there is a correct tempo at which the song is supposed to be played so that you could not play a note for long enough. And that's a terrifying prospect. I think so far the songs have been, um, have been tempoless, right? Because, because of course they should be. So I don't know if we were to play the thing that I just wrote down, it would sound like, so right is one. It would sound something like this. I mean, it's kind of a song, huh? Uh, so five is this, this would be seven straight up. Sorry. <laughs> I don't. Okay, let me try again. I'm definitely fucking this up. Uh, I should have written down, I should have taken the extra transcriptive step to write down letters. I'm just reading the sequence of numbers off of a notepad file and doing the conversions live. And that is definitely creating sort of a messy, uh, a messy song. The, the rests are also making it weird. It is like a real pattern though, huh? All right, I'm gonna make a lot of mis. I, I I made another mistake, like 40 notes in there. Um, let me actually let me actually transcribe this into directions. It'll be so much easier for me to read. Uh, so yeah, I'll pause the recording again and do that. Sorry, I'll be right back again. <laughs>
Okay, well, that was it. <laughs> that was it as as it stands with the unmarked eggs just not being anything and uh there there being all of the all of the notes except for the one egg we are missing. Um so there are definitely patterns in it and I wonder if I could like guess at the note that's missing, maybe that's the idea. Like, I don't know, you heard I had to play that pretty slowly. I, I definitely am going to cut out <laughs> missed attempts there. Um, it's really, really easy to accidentally play an extra note between the diagonal notes because of the fact that it doesn't play a note. It doesn't play one note for each time you press the play note button. If you release a direction before the play bu note button is all the way released, it just plays something else. Um, it just it, it it will spit out multiple notes per uh, per press because it's a flute, not a guitar, and that is a little it's a little tricky for me. Uh, so that's why I had to slow down so much because I was getting a lot of extra notes out and ruining the song. So yeah, like to actually look at this, like there's lots of passages where it's doing like this kind of thing, right? So to actually look at this, there's a section where it goes and then the blank and then DRDL. So that could be the blank could be a Let me, let me look at this in with the light on. Right, you see that? Like four three two four The thing is, it's not quite a pattern, is it? It's a little tricky to guess. My inclination would be that it's a four. Right, because you can see like the last egg on the top row and then the first two eggs in the second row make that four, two, four pattern. And it's like, a, it's a higher note, four, two, four, then another interrupting note, four, two, four, and then the break. And there's a lot of that like ABA pattern running throughout the thing. So maybe we have to play it like that. Just like notice, notice what it would be and fill in its spot. Using the six as the break between the notes a lot. Actually, that's kind of interesting. That egg is upside down. I'm, I'm just looking at the pattern here, and um, it's doing this like if you look at the the eggs from the very top, it's six A B A six A B A six A B A. And that egg that's upside down would be a six if it wasn't upside down. And then we have another ABA pattern, but then we have the break. And I have to tell you, like the more I look at this with the, and, and actually play it with the zeros in it, the more I feel like there's some, those shouldn't, the more I feel like those should be a note and I just don't know what to do with them. Cause the thing is they could be a note that's not represented by the system, right? We have an eight. We have an eight note um, sequence, or uh, we have a, an eight note um, ability to play. Obviously there's eight, there's eight notes in the octave. There's eight, there's eight directions in our cardinal and subcardinal, um, cardinal and ordinal, I think. So those could be eights and upright. Like what is that? What does that sound like? If we play this part with the zeros treated as eights, it goes like, uh, oops, let me get the flute actually out. It's like... Uh, 
maybe maybe okay let me make those changes i'm gonna uh i'm gonna edit my document here really quickly this is a short enough change that i shouldn't need to pause the game for it um but then i might fuck up playing it we'll see <laughs> so if we're reading this as six then it's that if we're then assuming this would be What is it? It's six, four, two, four, six, four, two, four. So yeah, this would be a four, which is down left. And then each of the zeros becomes up right. I'll tell you what, this does not, this has begun to, if, if these changes are right, I bet this is not an egg that, that, that I am puzzling about. It's one thing to just play a song you can see on the screen. It's another thing to like, pattern recognize and and edit and all right let's i'm gonna play it nice and slow we're gonna see i'm particularly scared about um overdoing it on these diagonal notes I'm getting so nervous. Okay, well that definitely did something. I was so worried I was gonna screw it up at the end and have to do it all over again. Okay, eggs in the background of the wall. This feels con this feels significant. Hell yeah. That is not an egg. That's the key to the other room in the house. Oh, I would go dollars to donuts on this being the key to the other room in the house, which is Perhaps the location of the final egg, or maybe not. Honestly, who knows? Uh, all right, so I want uh, I want to go to the hippo. Hello. I'll tell you what, that fish still jump scares me some of the time that I go into that room. There's got to be a better way to get to the house. I guess, like, you really don't... I keep going back there because there are things in it I find mysterious. You don't actually need to go there very often, though, so I guess it's reasonable that there's not, like, an easy way to do that thing. I suppose it would make some... It would make some kind of sense for the last egg to be in the house, right? There's a there's a climaxism to that. So that chest in there with the skulls could be another key somewhere or something. Maybe it's whatever object operates the big weird space donut. Y'all. Uh Okay, there is writing on this. There is a little bit of code on this. There's also what appears to be a plush of me, and this computer is not operable. Where is my other light? Hello? 0123, rabbit12, one, two. 
Oh, it, it's the ears, right? Like the left, left ear up, left ear right. But wait, why would that be one, two? If the directions over here indicate one is down. Well, the thing is like, no, actually, I don't, I don't understand this at all. Two three zero. What are we looking at here? Okay, the black light does not reveal anything else. This was not. <laughs> this was not helpful. <laughs> I feel like I put a lot of effort into that only to find a new problem that I don't understand and none of the answers that I did want. This fucking video game. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm simultaneously frustrated and delighted and I think that that's a wonderful feeling for like a puzzle game to provoke in a player. So we have... TP written on the blackboard. Bunny dance teleport. Bunnies do teleport. What I was initially thinking is that if um, eight makes sense as an interpretation for those ears, right? If two is to the right and six is to the left and it's just like math, maybe one, two... Maybe one, two isn't one, two. Maybe it's 12. That's signaling 12, but that doesn't. No, I. No, I don't think I can make any sense of this at all. Down is one, left is two, up is three. Zero is to the right. It's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. If it's like, never mind, I lost it. <laughs> I was thinking like if it's counting rotations, right? If you start with right, if you start with both arrows to the right, zero, zero. And then the right arrow winds around one, two, three. And then when the right arrow reaches right again, it moves the bottom arrow. So right and down would be four then right and up makes 12. But under that system, no, that's right. Under that system, right, the, the other two arrows do make an eight. Because that represents having moved the left arrow twice. What do I do with that? So the left arrow is counting the number of rotations of the right arrow. I don't know what we're supposed to use this for. The problem is we've been given the answer for a puzzle that we don't we don't have any idea where it is or what, like. I think I'm going to stop recording. <laughs> All right. I think I have earned the right to not scour every room in this game. I am going to go look up where the last egg is. Apologies to anyone who is disappointed in me. <laughs> um, I am going to look up where the last egg is because I think I deserve my last egg. I don't know what the fuck to make of this. Hey, 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 hey. Look, look, we're dreaming of rabbits. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I'm probably going to be dreaming of them too at this point. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the end of the thing. Come back next time. We're getting our last egg and maybe figuring out what the hell to do with this. And we still have the space donut and I... I don't know what to make of any of it at this point. And we'll see you then.